Okay, in this video we have this quadratic function and I want to find uh, four points uh, in this quadratic function. In particular I want to find uh, the vertex, the y-intercept, and the two x-intercepts. So let's start with the vertex. Now I could complete the square and put this in vertex form and get my vertex that way but I really don't want to. I'm feeling uh, a little bit lazy right now and so I'm just going to do things the easy way and that is to say I know that x coordinate in my vertex is going to be negative b over 2a. Alright? Well, in order to do that I better define my terms. a is this coefficient, 4. b is this coefficient, negative 36. c is this coefficient, or that constant actually, 77. So negative b over 2a is going to be negative negative 36, that's just a positive 36, over 2a, that's 2 times 4, that's 8. And 36 over 8 turns out to be 4.5. Okay? So let's see. What this means is, let me draw a couple of axes here. Uh, I, have a, uh, I have a parabola. And I know it's a parabola that is right side up uh, because that 4 is positive. And I know my parabola intersects the y-axis at the point 0, 77. I know that because if I plug 0 in for x, I get 0 minus 0 plus 77 equals y. So I know that my y-intercept must be the point 0, 77. Okay? Now, I know that my vertex has the x-coordinate 4.5 and if I replace x with 4.5 here and then evaluate for y I get y equals what do I get? I get that y equals negative 4 so my vertex has the point has, has the coordinates 4.5 negative 4 so I'm going to put that down about right here 4.5 negative 4 which tells me my parabola looks something like this. Okay? So I'm halfway done. I got this, I've got this, now all I need are my two x-intercepts. How do you get the x-intercepts? Well, remember, the x-intercepts are the points where y equals zero. So all I have to do is I have to set this equation equal to zero and then solve for x. That's the hard way. Let me do it the easy way. This, this video is all about doing things the easy way. Let's write this in vertex form. Vertex form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Okay? I know what h and k are. They're the coordinates of my vertex. So that means I have y equals a, that's the same thing I have there, 4 times x minus 4.5 squared plus negative 4 or minus 4. If you multiply this out, you will get that. Believe me, you will. Do it yourself. You can, you can uh, do it and you can uh, prove that uh, if you multiply this out, you will actually get that exact same equation there. Okay, now, the reason I've done this is because to find the x-intercepts, setting this equal to 0 is way easier than setting this equal to 0. Okay? Let me just set this equal to 0 here. What do I do? I'm going to add 4 to both sides. I get 4 equals 4 times x minus 4.5 squared. And now I divide everything by 4 and I get 1 equals x minus 4.5 squared. Which means whatever I have inside of here being squared equals 1. That means what I have inside of the parentheses must be either 1 or negative 1. So x minus 4.5 equals 1 or negative 1. And now I just add 4.5 to both sides and I get x equals 4.5 plus or minus 1, which is 3.5 or 4.5. And that gives me my two x-intercepts uh, here. One of them is the point 3.50 and the other one is the point 4.50. And that's all there is to it.